Hello everyone, it's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer and I am in my very echoey front room again with the windows open and a little bit of glare coming in. <laughs> Yay! Fun! Anyway, um, I've got an unboxing for you today. It's a uh, Dreamer Designs one, which you probably, if you if you had Dreamer Designs before, you recognise the box, but you wouldn't have seen the logo, so it was a Dreamer's, Dreamer uh, Designs. And um, yeah, I've done a couple of their canvases before. This is all, this will only be the third one that I've done. Um, yeah, and the ones I did before were landscapes, and landscapes with cottages. And if you know anything about me, I don't do landscapes, I don't do cottages. Why, what possessed me to do landscapes with cottages in? I really don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, this is not a landscape and there's not a cottage anywhere in sight. This is for my, um, I'm unboxing this because this is going to be my entry for Diamond Painting Fanatics um, Spooky Flings, which starts on the 1st of September. So I'll link, um, I'll put the hashtag on the video. I will also uh, link Diamond Painting Fanatics um, channel and Facebook group uh, down below but we'll get into this Ooh, I've been excited about this one I you know it's I when I saw this on dream as I said I don't buy a lot from dreamer designs but I did see this on the new releases and I, I was like oh my gosh I have to have this 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 is neat at um now Halloween I love horror, but I don't like Halloween. Um, yeah, I don't like Halloween um, at all. Uh, I, I tend to put my lights off. Well, when the kids were wee, I did it, but um, nowadays I tend to put the uh, the lights off at the front of the house and sit in the back of the house in the dining room. Or, you know, I, I, I can't be doing my Halloween. I can't be doing it at all. Sorry for all you Halloween fans. It's just... Just not me, don't like it. Anyway, really excited about this because I do like my horror. All right, and it's a big one. So this will probably be the only thing that I do for Spooky Flings, but we'll see. Because there is another one that I was thinking about doing, which is a Brown and Dark Club one, but I may not get, it depends how, what this, what this one looks like. Right, and it's big. So, uh, oh, and I'm also filming this in portrait rather than in landscape. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can flip it to landscape in, in editing. So um, hopefully you're seeing it in landscape and not in portrait. Anyway, um, yeah, Diamond, uh, Diamond Art Studio, I was about to say. <laughs> Dreamer Designs comes in um, these lovely bags here. Um everything nice and neat. Here is the canvas. Um, now this is a 60 by 80 canvas. So as I said, quite big. I can't remember if it's rounds or squares either. Um, we have a lovely little toolkit. It's a really nice soft bag. I, I have kept hold of the bags that I've had for my other ones. Um, it's been a while since I did a Dreamer design, so I'll just have a quick open up the toolkit and see what's inside. In fact, I don't even think I've unboxed the Dreamer designs on my channel, so this will be a first. Right, in this lovely soft bag, whoops, we get a run, uh, we get a couple of couple of white trays, branded. These are like great wee confetti trays. I love um I keep I I mainly work out in big trays, but I do keep a, a little stash of um small white ones if I've got a piece that's a really heavy confetti. Two pots of wax and little caddies. Got a lot in here. Uh, more grip seal bags to add to my collection. If you saw my weapon chat the other day, um, if anybody wants grip seal bags, please get in touch because um, they're, yeah, I don't want to throw them out, but I'm getting to that stage now that I think I will. 
Um, we have two squishies. Oh, one for each pen. This plastic one's quite good. Um, I know a lot of people like to use that for ABs because you don't have the metal tip. So you just put your wax, a plastic, oops, it's a plastic tip. So you just pop your wax in a plastic tip. Uh, it doesn't scratch the drills quite so much. I have to actually use a wax pencil for my, my ABs um, quite often. So, but yeah, these are good for ABs. We have a couple of extras. Uh, this looks like it might be, oh, ooh. <laughs> I'm not used to this setup, so I, that's why everything's going a bit wonky. It looks like it might be a six placer. It's a wide one, don't like them. That's a thin three placer. Oh, and a straightener. Straighteners are, I find them quite useful. For multi-placing squares. And last but not least, we have tweezers, which are branded. There we go. And they're sharp, so care is needed. But it's got a little protective cap. Okay, let us put the toolkit away. Because we don't need that anymore. And oh, it is a square. I wasn't too sure if it was a round or a square, this painting. We have got two bags of drills. Two bags of drills. Oh, and I can see a 48 on one of the bags. So, yeah, quite a lot of colours. So, here we go. Colour palette, fairly dark, but we do have some pinks and that in there. We'll take a look at the in a minute. Oh, you might have seen the, the title of that painting when you uh, when I turned those drills over. Nicely uh, tied with that lovely purple ribbon. Right, here we go. Now, Dreamer Designs are poured blue canvases. Now, I'm going to have a wee sit down while I'm doing this so that it's easier. Hopefully, I can't see my camera, so hopefully you can see everything. Um, I'll just roll it back. Now, the, as you can hear, the it's not one of those like soft, velvety canvases. Oh, is that a dead fly? I wonder if that came off my table. I hope that came off my table. Um, yeah, um, listen, it's not a super soft velvety canvas, it's kind of nylon -y. Uh, we have instructions, we have stickers, and we have a foam roller. So what I'll do is I'll just, um, keep, stick this under my arm at the moment, and we'll have a look at these. So instruction sheet, quite comprehensive, details of their social media as well. And that's your instructions on that side. Okay, there's no picture on this sticker sheet. Like some of the companies do, but here we go. Very comprehensive sticker sheet. It's got the number, the symbol, lots of symbols and DMC numbers and this kit has got if you look at the bottom there four ABs looks like we've got a white a pink a yellow and a blue right okay Six, 67 60, 67 colors I don't have a 60 I don't have a oh I don't have a storage that'll do 67 colors oh Oh, that's going to have to go for two sets of storage. Um, right, uh, I've almost finished my um, a big one that I've got fitted up in Dreamer Designs. I don't, in, um, gosh, find your words, find your words. I've got a big one that's kitted up in Craftmates Walkable, so I think once uh, that I've almost finished, so I think once that one's done, I might kit this up in Craftmates Walkable and then use a small that'll do me 58. And then so for some of the small ones, I might put them in a, a small box. That's what I tend to do with the bigger ones. Anyway, do you want to see what it is? It is. Ah, you can't see it. 
oh no, oh no, oh no, let me, let me adjust. Ta-da! Um, move the camera the other way around, so like, uh, um, I am now standing in front of the sun. It is the twins, and it's um, legally licensed from Curtis Rykovich, I think you pronounce the sur his surname. Um, Dreamer Designs has got loads and loads and loads of, of his paintings. This is the first one that I've ever bought. Um, yeah. Now, I love horror. My favourite writer is Stephen King. Oh, I love Stephen King so much. And this painting has been inspired by The Shining. Um, so I've got the twins, essentially, um, from The Shining. So yay, this is my, this is my um, spooky things. Oh, we love a creepy kid. And I tell you something, if they come in pairs as a twin, oh, you, all the better, all the better. So one's got a wee stuffed teddy and one's got a wee stuffed rabbit, but all the stuffing's fallen out of them. Oh, and, and if you look up here, let me bring it up, let me bring it up so you can see it. Oh, I'm so super excited. If you look in their bows, that one says red. And that one says rum, red rum. Oh, excellent. If you've, if you've read The Shining or even if you've seen the, uh, the movie, um, you'll know about red rum. But oh my gosh, yay. I love The Shining. It's one of my favourite books. I keep saying that about all my books that I read. It's one of my favourites, one of my favourites. Um, Sh Shining is, is actually, um, it's in the top 10, definitely, of my favourite books. So this, this beauty is, um, is for uh, spooky flings. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do drills and chills or not. Uh, probably not. Uh, I started doing it last year and then I basically forgot to submit photos. I forgot to submit the end photo. Um, I quite like Cindy's events actually because her events are, are really relaxed and chilled. And there are very, very few stipulations, you know, that she, she has for them. Obviously, Spooky Flings has got to be kind of like, you know, related to the topic. Um, but... Um, all these ones that have Google Docs forms and all that, oh, I can't be, oh, can't be doing it. Can't be doing that. I'm just happy to upload pictures to Facebook or Instagram with a hashtag. That that was that will do me. That will do me. Even then, I forget half the time. Anyway, um, yay! Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, I love it. I love it. I want to go and read the book again now. I'll need to see if I've got it on Audible. Oh, that'll be so awesome. I'll do this. I'll, I'll down, if I haven't got it on Audible, I'll get it and I'll download it and I'll listen to The Shining while I'm doing this. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, okay. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> right, let's, uh, <coughs> let's have a quick look at the drills. Okay, so I've changed positions again so we can have a little look at the drills. So, yeah, we have some pink. I might see if I can go through these quite quickly because we do have rather a lot of colours. These look like they're both the same. Three or four, five. Some dark brown. Three, three, seven, one, I would imagine. We have a little bit of sun coming in through the window, so hopefully the glare's not too bad. Burgundies and pinks. And another pink. Okay, so that's some 310. I'd would imagine we've got some more 310, not just one bag, but we'll come across that shortly. Some dark blues for her dress. Not oh, her dress, their dresses. Grace. Another blue. Nice 
it's kind of up, um, some peachy orange color. A pale olive green. That's a nice, again, it's a peachy kind of orangey color. So Dreamer Designs um, pack their drills by DMC number. Three. Well, well, he's the same. Three, yeah, three, seven, seven, eight. So two bags of three, seven, seven, eight. That lovely pale, pale turquoise. A very pale and dusky pink, almost like a little lavender. The purples are quite, um, you know, got heather-like tones to them, heather-like colours, I would say. Same with these pinks. And next, a few more bags to go, a few more trains to go, shall I say. The little ones, those ones. But they just use for little accents or something. Or a bit of shading in amongst the pinks. A nice light blue. Beige. Very pale tan. A couple of bags of this colour here. Uh, 422. And the other one. More greys. The 414415 four, and 413, I reckon. Yeah, 41, yeah. You see those greys and all lots of clean things. They help with the shading. That's a nice orange. You can see it better there. And two more. Ah ha ha ha. Here are all the blacks. So we had one. One black, so we've got another. One, yes, it's two, three, four. Four, four bags of three ten, so not too bad. Oh, I like that colour, that's nice. And the pink. A lot of dusky pinks and purples. Blue. There's a slightly more vibrant purple there. Right. One five five, yeah. Burgundy and another pink. This is the last bag, and this has got the EVs in it. So yeah, another sort of a heathery pink color. Brown. I must say the quality of these drills is absolutely lovely. Nice flat backs. Okay, EVs. We have a white. The 5200 AB. So that's uh, super sparkly. Can you see the AB coating on it? Just giving it that extra bit of shine and sparkle. We have our pink AB. Oh, you can really see the coating on that. And there's the seagulls. <laughs> You can really see the coating on that AB, that looks spectacular. We have this lovely kind of butter yellow. And then we have a very pale blue. Oh, that is so sparkly. And we've actually got two bags of that blue. Right. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pause, I'm going to get the canvas back, I'm going to have, I'll, st I'll stay zoomed in and I'm going to have a look and see where those APs are. So I've decided to hold the camera for this, um, hopefully it doesn't get too sugary. Um, but the first AB is white and that's O. And we have got O's in the bows. We have them a little bit in the faces. Um, I'm not a big fan of ABs in faces, but... We'll see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I'll take them out and replace them. Um, 
We have got ABs in the dress, this detail at the neck and the shoulder. And we also have white ABs in the arms. Now, I'm not too sure whether they're, she's, they're wearing gloves. I think they looks like they are possibly wearing fingerless gloves. Um, yep. And we've also got spots of the ABs going through the dresses. So that's the white. The pink AB is like, it's like a little, little arrow like that pointing up the way. Or a, or a triangle actually without the bottom on it. So, um, go in. So that shape there. So we've got ABs there in the toys on the teddy and also on the rabbit here um, look a bit on, on her gloves here and here I think, actually I think that's the bottom of the rabbit now is there any of those in her face their faces Just a little bit a, li a little bit around the sides here and here. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to look. I really don't know how that's going to look. I'm not a fan of ABs and faces. But yeah, um, what's it? we're going a bit jiggly. Uh, so yeah, in the in the stuffed toys is where the bulk of the pink AB is. The yellow AB are three little round dots. And... It doesn't look like there's any down at the bottom of the painting, so let's go up the top end. Um, three little round dots. Let's see if I can see them. Ah, I was looking at a yellow background, but it's actually on kind of a greeny background. Um, sorry, I'll move you over. I've got some here. Um, and I have some at the opposite side. No, a little bit here. Not very much of those, just just a tiny little bit at the back. Um, I'll need to look in again and see how big a packet that was. I don't think it was a very big packet. But we did have a lot of blues and the blues are going to be in her dresses and the blues is the number three. And um, yeah, I was right. They're all, oops, you can't see. They're all here, here, scattered through her, their dresses, here and here. And, and going down here through the dresses and also going down through here. So yeah, lots of number threes in the dresses. So if I, if I zoom in, there you go, you can see where the threes are. Uh, any more threes? Anything in the eyes? Um, got a little bit of white in the eyes. Uh, no threes though. A little bit up here in their hair, a little bit of three up here. I think well, it's like it's kind of some kind of clasp or something. Anyway, um, let me move the table. Let me stand up, and then you can see them a bit better. So yes, that's it. So this is the twins. Oops, this is the twins um, by Curtis Rykovic. It's from Dreamer Designs, a 60 by 80 centimetres squared with four ABs. And yeah, this is going to be my entry for Spooky Flings, Diamond Painting Fanatics. Um, now this video is because I've done it in a different way than I would normally do my large unboxings. Uh, it's probably not as as smooth as I would like it to be. It's probably a bit choppy. I will try and make the edits as smooth as I possibly can. Um, and yeah, apologising. Apologies for the sugarly camera at the end when we were looking where those ABs go. But anyway, um, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing. 
Um, please check out Sunday's channel, uh, take part in Spooky Flings, and I shall see you all in my next video. Cheerio!